How do you take a song idea recorded in the Voice Memos app on your iPhone or iPad and send it to GarageBand to turn it into a complete song? In this video, I'm going to show you. Let's go. The Voice Memos app is a great way to capture song ideas. In fact, I've got a whole video about that in the description. Once you want to send that idea over to GarageBand though, we need to find the share button and tap on that one. This will bring up the share sheet. You want to scroll down until you find save to files and tap on that one. The location we want to select is on, on my iPad or on my iPhone. If you're on an iPhone, then scroll on down until you find the GarageBand for iOS folder and then tap on GarageBand file transfer and hit the save button. Now we need to open GarageBand, so I'm going to slide up from the bottom and I'm going to tap on the GarageBand icon there. We need to create a new song, so I'm going to tap the Create Song button there and make sure that you tap on the Audio Recorder option. From here, find this icon, the Track View, and tap on that one. Now you'll see here in the top right that the Loops icon has a little blue one next to it. We can tap on that to open our file browser. Make sure you have this center one selected, Files, and then scroll down until we find the audio file that we want. To preview the file to make sure it's the right one, just tap on it. And when you're ready to bring it into your project, tap and drag and drop it onto a fresh audio track. Now, if you have automatic song length selected here in GarageBand, it will actually create extra space for your file. If you don't have that happen, what you'll need to do is hit the plus button here and make sure that this is on automatic. If that is set to manual or only eight bars, select that to automatic and then re-import your file and it will import the whole thing. To show you what I mean, let's hit the plus button here and put this onto the manual eight bar setting. Now, if we bring in any file like we just did, what you're gonna notice is it's only going to bring in the first eight bars. So if you have that problem, just make sure before you import, you tap on the plus button and select automatic, or you can manually add as many bars as you'll need. Now you've probably noticed a problem here, and that is that this is not going to line up on our grid because the tempo is not necessarily going to match the tempo we have set here. So this isn't really for taking this idea and expanding on it here. It's really more just to have a placeholder for the idea so that we can go back to it and then re-record because rarely do you want to actually use the original recordings from your voice recorder, but it's a great way to bring in your project idea. Let's show you what I mean by making sure the metronome's on and hitting play. So it's not too far off. I actually recorded this at around about 110 beats per minute, but it's not going to line up exactly. But that's okay because, again, we're just bringing the idea in here. We can then add to it. If you don't want to play on the, me the metronome and on the grid anyway, you can just add more instruments here. Or what I tend to do and what I did in my Song Timber song, which is what this idea was for, is that I just re-recorded those parts. And if you want to see that whole process, I've got a heap of videos there linked in the description as well. You can check them out. Bonus tip time, there's another way to import audio and that's to use the sampler. So to do this, we hit the plus button there. This time we're gonna swipe across to the keyboard instrument and tap down the bottom here on sampler. To import a sample, we need to tap on the name at the top here and then hit the import button. This will take us into that same location where we can access these files. Once again, if we wanna preview it, we can just tap it. And then to bring it in, we just hit this button over here on the right. Now, if we tap on the top there again, you can see it's actually brought in this whole lot or at least 30 seconds of that sample. But what if we just want one particular part? Well, you can actually trim it down to the part that you want. So this is great if you just want to record a quick sound and bring it in, not necessarily for something like this. But now if we hit one of these buttons, <laughs> So as you can see here, you can have a lot of fun with this as well by bringing it into the sampler, then hitting record and playing in your part using the GarageBand sampler. And finally, I thought you might like a quick look at the finished product. So this is this original idea, this file that we just brought in here. It sounds like this. <laughs> So that's what we brought in here to the track and then we created this project based around that and the final product sounds a little bit like this. So you can see here that you can take something from a concept idea, import it into GarageBand, and then start recording around that and build out a complete track. If you want to learn more about recording and creating in GarageBand, check out the videos linked in the description, and I'll see you next time.